Hi folks, well, like I said before, I'm going to do a little bit of review on this after now I've used it. And uh, apart from using it for shaving, <laughs> that's how good the steel is on it. But it's the Mora 106, got a beach handle, full tang, although it's a rat tail tang, yeah. Comes in plastic sheath, which is ambidextrous, so it works for both left and right handed people. Belt hook on it. This is a carving knife, used for wood carving, but it'd be an excellent second knife to carry if you were in woods or all like that, camping, whatever that, you could do all them little, little tasks. Not for cutting trees down, but also for carving, you could use it for eating, whatever you want. As I say, it's the steel is fantastic, it came sharp. I did um, strop it before I shaved with it. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that at the end of this one. But it's, you know, really good steel. It's a composite blade, it's two pieces of softer steel, I don't think you can see, you can just see it on polish, but it's two pieces of softer steel, and then with an hard core in the middle, and, well, edge retention's fantastic on it, it's still shaving sharp now and then, and I've done a carving with it. What I wanted to do is actually do a carving with it, because my knife, what I usually use is about that big, it's about an inch, you know, three centimetres, an inch, so... And but what I wanted, the reason I bought it was I wanted to buy a knife that would remove more wood. Because with a small blade, you can you've only got so much. And if you're working on some, well, if you haven't got a bandsaw, I have got a bandsaw, but I don't do a lot of cut out patterns. But the point is with this is you've got a long blade, so if you wanted to move a lot of wood, you can move a lot of wood, you know. Whereas because I've got that extra blade length. You can do a slicing action. Oh, there's a knot there, look. Didn't work well with knots, but nothing does. So you've got a slicing action, and you can remove a lot of wood fast if you need to, or when you want to. Big amounts. Yeah. But I also wanted to do a carving with it to see if I could do a carving with a knife that size. So I did this little fella. And he just sort of came out of this piece of wood that way I was testing it on. I would just I just got a this is a bit of pine and I basically just started carving it. And it was that long. I just started carving it off and I thought, well I wonder if I can make a little man out of it. So I did this sitting down leprechaun. He looks a little camp, but he's not are you? No. But yeah, you can get all fine details. I mean, it's not mega fine details what I've done, but it's, it's quite a big knife. But you can choke down on it. I'm not gripping blade that'd be silly if you've seen how sharp it is after I shaved it but you can do fine work with it by chucking up on blade now there is another knife what they do well, there's a couple obviously they do lots of knives but there's, there's a couple more carving knives I think it's a 122 I'm thinking of getting that as well because that's the shorter blade and it's got a drop nose on it and I'm thinking of getting that because I'm really impressed with that really really impressed with it. I mean you've just seen what I've just done to that piece of wood. Let's see if it's the cut paper. Look, watch. Let's see how we go. You know what I mean? It is catching a little bit but been chunking up wood with that and that knot what I ate so yeah super knife super impressed with it and um, just got to try and keep this fella away from the gold now nice to be nice